Hey, Andrea, I know, so I know your exam is tomorrow, so very excited for you. Let's see if we can help you get what you need, get that seven. Green energy, let's see what you wrote. A new trend of using mostly green energy is being observed these days in the, here, the Western world as well as in third world countries. Grammar here, okay? This phenomenon is thought by many to decrease the cost and the environmental impact, while there are people that take this as a risk to, it's a risk to something, our energy security. In my opinion, comma, using green energy is more cost effective and has an important positive impact on our ecosystem, both benefits offsetting the security problems. Okay. In this essay, I will further develop both sides and further explain my position. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Just be careful with that grammar. Um, in like three sentences, you had a few errors. And remember, this is your first impression. We talked about your grammar. We talked about it being, in my opinion, what's holding you back from getting your seven. So really, really, really aim for accuracy. And I definitely want, when you do your exam, for you to spend a couple of minutes correcting, make sure that you've got, you know, um, if, that you're as accurate as possible, okay? So on the one hand, using green energy has measurable economical benefits, mostly, most notably stable and fast return on investment. Okay. After the, green after the green energy infrastructure is built, we see a steady and fairly quick positive fiscal balance. For example, a recent UN study shows that using solar panels and windmills has a constant return on investment period of one to two years, respectively. Okay. Having less impact on the environment is another undeniable advantage of favoring the green energy sources. The biggest effect by far is decreasing the amount of pollution when compared to traditional energy sources, oil, coal, and gas. This considerable difference in the amount of pollution is supported by countless studies and mainly by the fact that the scientific world has reached a clear positive consensus on this subject in the 2020 Paris Equal Conference. Okay, I really wanted a little more information. Like, can you tell me anything about that? You said less impact on the environment. Why? How? Um, could you say that there is no emissions, that there is like no CO2? There's, you know, none of this greenhouse effect happening uh, from like burning these sources of energy. I needed something like that. Okay. I need something just a little more. Um, although I love what you wrote, it read really nicely. So it, it's well written, but I did want a little more, I want a little more information here. On the other hand, there are some people worried about the security implications when it comes to preferring green energy. This can be divided into problems pertaining to green energy quality or quantity. First of the qualitative argument is that green energy is dependent on the natural resources, wind, sun, and water, and therefore not stable. Some self-proclaimed experts express their worries about green energy not being able to cover our needs at all times, while these statements have some, mm, what's going on with your grammar here? Period. New sentence. While these statements have some merits, comma, no viable studies were published on the matter. Secondly, comma, the quantity issue is that Although green energy has benefits, currently we do not have sufficient amounts to supply the whole world. This problem seems to be supported mostly by the oil, gas, and coal industry with no current large scientific research supporting it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I like that. I, it, it's no comment. Good. Yeah. In conclusion, green energy has clear economic and ecologic advantages, while the arguments against it seem to clash with the current scientific knowledge. Nice. In my opinion, support, comma, supporting the green energy, no the... In my opinion, comma, supporting green energy is vital for the preservation of nature, no the, as well as improving our global budgets. Okay, good. I kind of wanted to hear something about how it's more economical, maybe for the end user too, uh, rather than just a uh, return on investment. It's fine. Maybe it's just a personal preference. I thought what you wrote is, is lovely. I thought it was good. Just be careful with those things that I talked about before um, regarding grammar. Okay, it's an enormous map. Uh, it's fine. So let's see. Mm, what happened to your grammar here, Andre? Maps. The maps. Because we're referring to the maps on the page. You know which ones. So call them the. The maps show. Because if you say are showing, it's as if like just now momentarily, just for the time being. And then later on, they're going to change their mind and show something else. So it should just be the maps show. 
Okay, the maps show two drawings of an island with the size of roughly one by 0.5 kilometer before and after constructing not an accommodation. You have to be careful. Let's try it again. Before and after a uh, construction of infrastructure, a port, and an artificial lake. No compass bearings were given. I don't even say it. Don't even say this. If it's not there, don't talk about it. Okay? So, overall, there is a grave difference in the island before and after the construction. In the past, there were no man, no, not man build, man made, one word, structures on the island, whereas afterwards we see a relatively dense inhabitation. All right, what I disagree with, disagree with is your use of the word grave. That implies something very negative, very bad, okay? Um, you don't want to give a judgment here, okay? There is a sizable difference, okay? There is a considerable difference. Those words would have been good. Uh, in the past, there were no man-made structures on the island, whereas afterwards we see, I didn't like this either. You can't really say relatively dense in habitation. What you can say is that afterwards we see um, infrastructure supporting tourism and other activities. That would have made sense, okay? Let's go. Previously, the land had considerably more wooded areas, comma, namely, comma, A, few by the sea and on one end of the beach. I don't know why you're saying otherwise. Oh, you mean otherwise, W-I-S-E. The island was plain, almost featureless, without any buildings, roads, or path. Good, fine. In fact, what I would have done here is you wrote in your introduction the size. I actually would have done that here. I think it works better. So I would have left all that information out here. I would have said previously the island was roughly one by 0.5 kilometer, um, mostly wooded area, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and the rest of this. All right. After the construction, comma, the island boasts a man-made lake. You don't boast with, you boast something. So the island boasts a man-made lake on the opposite side of the beach. Where? Tell me, it's on the east. There are two main housing areas on each side of the island, separated by a mall, cafe, and a hotel with a nearby dock. All the amenities located in the center of the all the amenities are located in the center of the island. The first group of houses is because it's first group. That's your subject. This is just characterizing what that group is. This is your subject. The first group of houses is found by the beach. And the second one is on the other side of the island near the lake. Did you tell me about the lake yet? The road infrastructure for the vehicles encircles, because again, it's not just temporary, it's not just now, at the moment of speaking, it's something there. So encircles the mall and connects it to the hotel, the dock, and the cafe. And the cafe. There is also a connection of the cafe and the lakeside houses. Paths for the pedestrians, get rid of the, because we don't know which pedestrians, are found between the lakeside properties, all connected in a circular fashion. The longest path is located between the mall and the beach, leading through the middle of the beachside houses. There are also pavements? Okay. Uh, I don't know about that. Is there? Let's see. I never understood that there was pavement. I understood that there was a footpath, so I would avoid this. There's nothing about pavement anywhere. Uh, get rid of that sentence entirely. Due to the whole project, comma, the trees were cut down completely on the side of the beach and the center of the island. Okay. I'm glad to go through it. Good. I'm glad you were glad <laughs> to go through it. Um, I think you did fine. Um, I gave you my suggestions. Uh, I would have liked you to tell me that some trees were left in the northeast. Basically, here's what happened. You didn't refer to north, east, west, whatever. When you're looking at a map that doesn't have that information, you can assume that this is north, this is east, this is west, and so forth. Oops, what did I just do? This is silly. You can assume that, okay? Uh, you added that stuff about pavement, which I didn't like. I wanted you to mention that the pier was added and did not exist before. I wanted, did you mention that the man was, man, what's going on here? Did you mention that the lake was man-made? Um, for me, that was an important thing as well. Oh, there it is. I'm boasting man-made lake. It was the first thing you said. Good, fine. 
So yes, for the most part, I thought you did well. I told you my comments. Again, for me, it was mostly about grammar. A couple little things about vocabulary, like your use of the word grave, which I totally disagreed with, but it was absolutely grammar here. So um, I'm glad you had a chance to do this and you know you, you understand how to do it. We gave you some feedback on how to do it successfully. So you're on the right path. I hope everything goes great. I'm not wrong, right? Your exam is tomorrow. I'm not making that up. All right, let me know either way and best of luck. I can't wait to hear news from you. Okay, good luck.